how to create a NVIDIA H100 GPU cloud server to run and train artificial intelligence, machine learning, and large language model apps on DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean's GPU droplets come configured with all the necessary NVIDIA drivers and software pre-installed to help you get started on your AI ML journey. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address. This URL address is my referral link to DigitalOcean and will give you $200 in free DigitalOcean cloud credits to try out their server free for 60 days. I'll put my referral link in the video description below and as a card at the top right hand corner of this video. Once you're here, if you don't already have a DigitalOcean account, you'll need to sign up with either an email address, your GitHub account, or your Google account. Now I already have a DigitalOcean account, so I'm simply going to navigate to the top right here and click on sign in to be signed into my DigitalOcean account and taken to the projects dashboard. Once you've signed up to DigitalOcean using my referral link and you're on your dashboard, you can either click on GPU droplets or click on create and then click on GPU droplets to create cloud servers with GPUs. So I'm just going to click on GPU droplets here. First, we'll need to choose a data center region for our GPUs. Click on this arrow here to see the available data centers. GPU droplets are quite new on DigitalOcean. So currently there's only two North American data centers, New York and Toronto. In the future, I'm sure there'll be more GPU droplets around the globe. I'm going to be going with the Toronto data center here. Next, scroll down until you see where it says choose an image. Make sure OS is selected by left clicking on it. You can click on show all OS images to see more OS images. However, we're going to be going with DigitalOcean's AI ML Ready Image OS, which comes bundled with Ubuntu Linux. So I'm just going to click on the circle here to select it. Next, we'll need to choose a GPU plan. So scroll down until you see choose a GPU plan. Currently, there's only one type of GPU and that's the NVIDIA H100. You have two plan options. You have the NVIDIA H100 X8 configuration, which means you have eight of these NVIDIA H100 GPUs or you can go with a single NVIDIA H100 GPU. As this is just a video demonstration, NVIDIA H100 X8 is overkill for this video. So I'm going to be going with a single NVIDIA H100 GPU. So I'm just going to click on this to select it. Next, scroll down until you see where it says add an SSH key for authentication. So when we create a GPU droplet, we'll need to add an SSH key. To do this, simply click on add a SSH key. Under public key here, we'll need to paste in our public key, but we don't have one yet. So we'll need to create a public key and a private key. The public key is what you'll paste in here and add it to your DigitalOcean account. The private key is the other SSH key, which you'll use to log into your DigitalOcean GPU droplet. To create this public SSH key and the private SSH key, what we'll need to do is open up another tab and navigate to putty.org. Once you're here, click on download putty. Putty is available for the following operating systems. I'm on Windows, so I'll be using the 64-bit Windows installer. Now I already have putty installed, so I'll be skipping the installation process here. However, if you want to see a step-by-step -step process to install putty and all the other putty tools, I'll put a link in the video description below to one of my videos, which will take you through that process. I'll also put it as a card at the top right-hand corner of this video. I also want to add, if putty isn't available for your operating system, you'll need to download an another SSH client compatible with your OS. Once you've got Putty downloaded and installed, you can minimize your browser to be taken to your desktop. On my desktop here, I've got Putty Gen and Putty. Now, when we installed Putty, we also installed automatically Putty Gen. Now, if you don't have these shortcuts on your desktop, you'll need to search for these programs using the search box at the bottom of your Windows taskbar here. Then you can simply open up the programs. Putty Gen will be the Putty tool that we're going to be using to create our SSH keys. And Putty is the SSH client that we're going to be using to log into our GPU droplet. So first, double click on Putty Gen to open it. Now I've got Putty Gen open, which is our Putty key generator. We'll need to generate a public slash private key pair. To do this, simply click on generate, and then you'll need to generate some randomness by moving the mouse key over the blank area here. The SSH keys will then be generated. And there we go, our SSH public key and our SSH private key pair have been generated. The key displayed in this box here is in fact the public SSH key. So from where it says SSH-RSA, we're going to left click on that and highlight it all the way down to the very bottom here. Once you've got it highlighted, right click on it and click on copy. Now open back up your browser, go back to your DigitalOcean dashboard, right click on the SSH key content box here under public key and click on 
and paste. Once you've done that, we'll need to choose a key name for this public key. So I'm just going to call it NVIDIA. Once you've done that, just click on add SSH key. This public SSH key will then be added to your DigitalOcean account. We'll now need to select it by clicking on the box here next to whatever you labeled it as. In my case, it's called NVIDIA. Now, before we proceed any further, just minimize your browser for the time being to be taken back to your desktop. It is always good practice to save your generated key pairs. So I'm first going to save my SSH public key and I'm also going to save my private key. So let's start off with the public key. So simply click on save public key, choose a location. So I'm going to choose my desktop and I'm going to add a name. So I'm just going to call it NVIDIA dash public. Once you've given it a name, click on save. And as you can see, our public key has been saved to our desktop. Next, we'll need to save our private key. So click on save private key. Now I've been greeted with this warning message from Putty Gen, which says, are you sure you want to save this key without a pass phase to protect it? So you have the ability here to add a pass phase to your private key if you want. However, I'm not going to bother doing this as this is just a video demonstration. So I'm going to click on yes. Again, choose a location to save your private key. So I'm going to choose my desktop and give it a name. So I'm going to call it NVIDIA dash private. Once you've given it a name, again, click on save. And there we go. Our NVIDIA private key has been saved to our desktop. Also, once you've got your generated SSH key pair saved, go back to your browser and then choose a unique name for your DigitalOcean GPU droplet. So I'm just going to click in this text box here. I'm going to delete what's already pre-typed and I'm going to call this droplet NVIDIA dash GPU dash test. You can add a tag if you want, but I'm not going to bother. And then all that's left to do is to click on create GPU droplet. DigitalOcean will then begin creating your GPU droplet. I'll be back with you guys once this progress bar finishes. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, our GPU droplet is now active and running. You can also see that we're currently on the overview tab. You've also got insights, networking, volumes, backups and snapshots, activity and settings to get further information and customize your GPU droplet further. For this video demonstration, we're only interested in the overview tab, which will automatically be on once your DigitalOcean GPU is active. On the right hand side, you'll see connection details. And the one we're interested in is the public IPv4 address, which in my case is 165.277.35.13. So I'm just going to click on the copy icon here to copy it. We no longer need our browser anymore. So I'm just going to close out of it now. And also the putty key generator, also known as putty gen. The next thing we're going to be doing is logging into our GPU droplet. To do this, we'll need to open up Putty. So double click on Putty here. In the hostname section or IP address, paste in your GPU droplet's IP address that you copied earlier. Now we'll need to add our SSH private key. To do this, on the left hand side under category, look for where it says SSH and click on the plus symbol here. Then click on auth. You'll then see a browse button with a text box which says private key file for authentication. So we'll need to browse our computer to add the private key so that we can log into our GPU droplet with SSH. So simply click on browse and then locate your private SSH key that you saved earlier from PuttyGen. My private SSH key is right here. It's called NVIDIA-Private. So I'm going to left click on it to select it and then I'm going to click on Open. Once you've added your private SSH key, click on Open. You'll then be greeted with a Putty security alert which informs you that the host key is not cached in the registry. You have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is. Of course, we know this is our GPU droplet. So I'm going to proceed by clicking on Accept to add the key to Putty's cache and carry on connecting. I'm now going to maximize my putty terminal window here. At the top left, it says login as we're going to be logging in as root. So you'll just type root in here and then press enter on your keyboard. It will then authenticate your private key with the public SSH key and log you into your DigitalOcean GPU droplet. And there we go. We're now logged into our NVIDIA GPU droplet. If you want to check if you do have an NVIDIA H100 GPU configured on your droplet, simply type NVIDIA dash SMI space dash capital L. I'll put this command in the video description below for your convenience. So you can just copy and paste it into the terminal. Once you've typed this in, press enter on your keyboard and you should see GPU O NVIDIA H100 80 gigabytes HBM3 with the UUID. GPUs start being counted from zero. So if you have eight GPUs, it will list your GPUs from zero to seven as zero counts as one. Now, if you want to get more information about your NVIDIA GPUs, simply type NVIDIA dash SMI without the space dash L. Again, this command will be in the video description below. So once you've typed this in, hit enter on your keyboard. And there we go. You'll get even slightly more information than the previous command, which simply lists your GPUs. And finally, I'll tell you one more command, which will give you a large amount of information about your NVIDIA GPU or GPUs. Type NVIDIA dash SMI space dash Q. Once you've typed this in, 
press enter on your keyboard, and then you'll get the most information about your NVIDIA GPU. You can see there's tons of specs there. All right, so that pretty much concludes the video on how to create a NVIDIA H100 GPU cloud server to run and train artificial intelligence, machine learning, and large language model apps on DigitalOcean. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let